What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video. Today's video, as promised, we're about to take the 2022 WRX out for a test drive. So this is the base model, so it's not going to be apples to apples with the one I ordered, which is still shh. But who knows? We got the SDI just came back from a test drive. But today's video, about to get the salesman, hop in one of these, because people like to abuse these on test drives. So about to do a point of view drive and get my impressions on this 22 WRX. So before we hop into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel. Let's jump into it. So we were going to test drive that WRX, but the dealership came back out with the salesman, which at that dealership, they send salesmen on the drive with the WRXs. They, he had to ride along, but he was like, oh, this, the sales manager doesn't want to do one. It felt like joyriding. So I'm like, whatever. Okay. He was like, if I ordered the car through the dealership, then I could have gone for a test drive, but I guess I spoke too much and said a little too much, but that is my local dealership. I would get my WRX service there. So. I don't know, I'll take that personally, but we move on. Hopefully there's a friend out there that can let me borrow and drive or ride along in their WRX. 2022 WRX, the exterior, got the hood scoop, functional vents, the arrow is all functional, fog lights on this one. This is a step above the base level, and we got the sunroof Harman, Harman Kardon package on it. And let's take a look at this, this plastic cladding that everybody talks about. It doesn't look that bad in this color. Not at all, man. And I actually like the plastic cladding in the front. It gives it some contrast, especially with the bright colors. And on the side, you don't notice it because of the dark color on here. Got the signature Subaru LED headlights coming on right here. So with this you can't get the forward collision warning and all the driving safety features until you step up to the GT trim and that only comes with the CVT which is the transmission that I don't want or can't say I would recommend it or not but it's not for me. In the WRX testing it out here about to take it on the highway first impressions I like it a little bit too much so far but let's see Oops. <laughs> still getting used to it oh my god that red line comes up really fast it does Woo. can I get the tires to squeal no clump chicken <laughs> handles really well quite flat and we got torque. Oh yeah, we get up to speed really well here. That's something that the Integral is not as good at at all. Like this thing has the power, it moves and it actually pins you to the cushion. So happy to see that that's there. You can hear substantially more road noise. I'm trying to make this, trying to mark this down as much as I can because I want the Integra, but this WRX is really good, I can't deny that. So, uh, just cruising. It is on the firmer side, the suspension, but we don't mind that because we drive our Camaro in sport mode all the time, if not track mode. So that's, I like that. It's not uncomfortable by any means. There's more cars out there that are stiffer. And people complain about the turn signal. It's, it's old BMW, so it's, it's not bad at all. It's not really a real complaint to me. Rev match downshift. Let's see if I suck at this. That wasn't fast, but it was smooth. So we're not that bad. Another one from fourth to third. It's a good shifter. Can we? Oh, let's not go down to second just yet. Actually, drop a gear and disappear. Oh, nope. Don't want to break off. <laughs> Try to. Man, this car is good. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? It is very fun. Yeah, yeah. 
Let me complain some more. What don't I like about this? There's not a lot to not like about this, to be honest. Like, I like my shifters. The Camaro has the big, giant, beefy shifter. That's a minor complaint. I, you can change that with the shift knob, but this is, it goes into gear. And unlike the last STI that I drove, that thing, the, the gates were so close to each other, I had a hard time getting that in the gear. And this being my first experience, it's pretty easy. It's intuitive. You go to all the gears easily. Like there's no second guessing and it just goes to where you want it. So they honed in a lot on here on the daily drivability. And it's still Subaru in here, but it's, it's really good for a daily driver and especially the snow, which is where I would have a ton of fun at. So that's what I want to do. Still like the Integra a lot. The Integra is smoother and more efficient, but this, I think the fun factor, it handles well like the Integra, but it has power. And I know power, I say power doesn't matter, but when you're at 200 horsepower, you need a little bit more, and this delivers on that. Let's see if I can do a, a Topher turn and squeal some tires. <laughs> almost there, but almost there, red line. Chicken it out. Get chicken. <laughs> I'm not smiling. <laughs> oh, red line. <laughs> Man, that red line is. <laughs> and we are up there. Man. <laughs> Just cruise for a minute. Trying to take this all in, man. This is. I wanted to hate this car a lot. I want it to be like, ah, oh, it's garbage. Integra all the way. But this might have a leg up on the Integra, to be honest. Oh, man. <laughs> Just drop down a bit. Man, that's pretty good. That's not auto rev match. That's me. I'm so good. I'm so good. All right, let's pass. I can pass people in fifth gear. If I can pass people in sixth gear. Still moves in sixth gear too. That's I'm impressed. No Alcantara on the steering wheel. Okay, that's I don't know. We're about to do some more turns. All right, here we go. Very engaging. How how much it revs? How fast it revs up? How much I can change gears? That's exciting to me. Downshift rev match. Hmm. A curve. Uh, don't do it in the curve. Q, you better than that. Man, this thing can just go. <laughs> uh oh, I can mark it down on the brakes. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Still decent. I felt better, but. Like I said, I'm being super critical on this car because I want to not like something about it, but it's not a lot. Infotainment, this thing was super slow earlier. Like it took, we had to restart the car because it was being so laggy. But right now, it's fine. Just a little reset. It happens. And that's the nature of these things. They're all, I haven't seen an infotainment system that doesn't have bugs, but this was probably the slowest I've ever seen you respond ever. It was bad. And then in the menu, it's uh to get to the audio you got a few more clicks and buttons and menus that i personally don't care for like it's too many menus to get to what you want but that's what it is the display looks good though and the sound system is pretty crisp like i like the harman Kardon in here and we got the sunroof which is how i would spec my car out it would at least have to have that so that's good it sounds good so pass the audio test very important to me. All right, let's give it some gas. Yeah. I do like the shifter in the Integra more, but this is still a good shifter too. Some hand braking. <laughs> oh man, this is the fastest light as ever. Can I do a handbrake turn at that one spot? We don't, don't have to. Do a little bit of hooning. We could say that for like another time. Yeah. Might get one of these in winter too. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just it's just not slippery enough. Yeah. So I couldn't even get the ZL one though. Well, 
I didn't have the traction disabled like I should have. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, it's grippy. Yeah. <laughs> too bad like it's on the firm side but it's not harsh at all and the final test reversing all right how do I get this thing in reverse uh, pull up why can't everybody just go in the same direction but it's that's good this man it's a lot of screen I'm not gonna harp about that but for how big the screen is the rear view part is kind of small but this minor very minor man that's it and to do that you pull this collar up on here it's kind of like the mustang you pull it up to the right and down so the camaro is up to the right well to the right and up the mustang is pull it up and to the left so everybody's different <laughs> all right let me uh step outside and give my thoughts the wrx it was it was impressive i can't lie am i going to cancel my order uh i don't know this very fun to drive and now that I've driven it I hate that I like it as much just say I'll sleep on it and get back with you all later but the car is still coming the beginning of November it should be here so I got time and I think somebody actually bought the Integra that I was looking at as I was leaving the dealership today so we'll probably have to get one of these and I will be very happy with that just owning one of these and the experience that I had would be very fun especially in snow so that's my thoughts on that. Let me know what you all think. Would you pick the WRX or the Integra? Let me know in the comment section down below. So this will be the wintertime daily driver. So the Camaro is going to be shut down, unfortunately, because it has 650 horsepower and I live in Michigan. But let me know what you all think. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.